checking out 3D hardware acceleration on VMware. Do you want to run your Windows 3D programs hardware independently? Well, VMware might be your solution, or not. Hi guys, I was trying to test out VMware, VMware Player, on my Windows 7 PC to see whether or not I would be able to play some games on it. I've been running parallels on my Mac OS uh, notebook, my MacBook, uh, very successfully, and I've been able to play well just about any game on it, uh, ranging from Half-Life to uh, Geometry Wars and uh, what have you. And I wondered whether or not the same was possible on VMware. And um, I'm not sure, but I tested out um, uh, some stuff, and uh, I wanted to show you the results, which might be very interesting for you guys. As you can see, I've downloaded the VMware player. So I've booted up Windows XP Professional. And let me start DirectX Diagnosis. So this actually gives... So it's Windows, Exp uh, Windows XP Professional. It's running on my Core 2 Duo, which is the main system. I've, I've given it a 512 megabytes of RAM, and it's running DirectX 8.1. So it's not the latest DirectX, but, you know. Uh, okay. So let's uh, see all the DirectX files. Oh yeah, you have to install the, the VMware tools, of course, but if you download the latest VMware player, you'll, able to, uh, you'll be able to download the, uh, the appropriate tools. So every DirectX uh, file is actually supported. Display. Uh, the only thing that's not available is AVP tex texture acceleration. But Direct Draw and Direct 3D is available. And it's testable. And uh, let's test the Direct Draw. OK. So, wait. So you have to answer all these questions. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. And I have to block. Yep. Full draw in screen mode. So that works also. Okay, and now try to test the direct 3D, which is actually the most interesting feature. Okay. And there we have it. So this is DirectX 3D hardware acceleration, and we saw the box. DirectX 8. And that works too. We saw the DirectX logo, so yeah. Uh, 3D Mark 2001, and let's start the first, see if it works. Mad Onion, it's one of the older 3D Marks, but I'm actually simulating all the software, so let's, uh, let's do a demo. Uh, do you want to recommend the settings? Yes. Let's do the recommended settings. Okay, so this is actually running on VMware. Hi guys. Now well, perhaps I'll should it, should move it over to the other screen. Hello. Oh, so this is actually running. So this kind of stuff works games should definitely work. So this is the latest VMware, Windows XP Professional, running on VMware Player with Direct 3D enabled. I'm filming this in HD because my previous vis uh, video from three years ago was atrocious. But as you can see, 
all the crazy stuff, all the all the things are working. So I guess my guess is that VMware and the level it supports 3D at, and the fact that it actually supports USB devices, so you can use that kind of control pad, makes it uh, a viable system at least to uh, to run the older games in, 3D games in, that just won't function properly on Windows 7, because I'm running this on a Windows 7 platform. Well, a nice reference to the old Amiga. Let me see if I can quit this. Okay, so this is my VMware configuration file. And I guess this file, this is MKS enabled 3D is true. That is important to enable hardware 3D acceleration. For the rest, my uh, VMware configuration file looks exactly like any other. So I've uh, let me close this. So this is the benchmark running at uh, 124 by 768. Perhaps I should uh, install another game to see if that works. Okay, so that works too. The frames per second on my system aren't bad. It's almost invariably over 50, which is good. So this is the benchmark running. Well, you can see the settings there. No strange glitches. Fog and stuff is working. So I guess 3D support is mature. Got those guys running. Not sure if this even will even work under uh, <laughs> Windows 7. Again, frame rate is pretty decent, 156. So results may vary on other systems, of course. But this is what VMware is capable of on my machine, at least. Ah, the Matrix scene. So this is a low detail version, running at a very solid frame rate. So this is high detail. Wow, look at that shine. And look at the frame rate. And this is running actually in a virtual machine, so pretty decent. So this VMware thing, VMware player thing, which is actually free by the way, you only have to register uh, with your email and then you get a download link. Yeah, I mean, love this scene. <laughs> of course, you can see by today's standard that water is uh, not as good as DirectX 11, but it gives you a good impression what was possible with uh, 3D graphics nine years ago. More than nine, nine years ago, I guess. So I guess all these um, all these tests uh, work on my system. So test eight of 17 tests. We have a lot of <laughs> a lot of tests to sit through. The polygon counts. Uh, in this video, I'll show you the uh, the web page in which uh, VM VMware actually uh, shows us the settings uh, which you have to incorporate into your configuration file because you do have to manually add some settings into the configuration file, the VMware configuration file, uh, in order to uh, to have uh, direct 3D support. I'll show those settings in a minute. I've already shown you what I've put in my configuration file, but I'll show you the uh, the website, the web page. So 12 of 17. So this is a different method of shading. The vertex shader. <laughs> we have all these neos running around. Wow, that's an awesome site. Still is. Very curious after the end result. See some fish swing. Some pretty, pretty decent uh, 3D performance. In the background, you can hear my wife climbing the stairs. Moving on to the bad room. Nice horsey. Okay, so my 3D Mark 2373. Pretty, pretty content with that. So perhaps my VMware is a good 
uh, backwards compatible game system. So these settings are needed to enable 3D hardware support in VMware. This uh, goes for many of the VMware incarnations.